welcome back to my video lecture this is dr mahantesh i am nanda pranavar working as assistant professor of mathematics today i will explain about the how to write maxima program to find the numerical solution of ordinary differential equation using picard's method picard's method is one of the method to solve the initial value problems what is mean by initial value problem initial value problems are those differential equations where they have given us one condition if the order of differential equation is 1 that is that condition is given at initial point that is x not the y value will be given at x not so such problems are called as initial value problems or ivps initial value problems a differential equation is given with one initial condition if the order is 1 if the order is 2 there two initial condition will be given to us let us see one example for the same solution of numerical solution by the uh, picard's method okay Uh, first i will explain what is the picard's method then you can go for uh, yes picard's method picard's method okay yes what is picard's method it is uh, used to solve the differential equations dy by dx which is equal to f of x comma y x comma y so here one condition is given to us y of 0 will be given us so value of y at y equal to 0 and they will ask you to find this value at x is equals to some value they will give some value here it may be anything it may be 0 or it may be 1 they will give anything and they will ask you to find the solution of this differential equation at x equals to some value some value they will give some value okay yes now how to solve the what is the picard's formula the first it is iterative method so first iteration will be like this y1 so y not will be the value of y at x equals to 0 plus integration of x not to x f of xy dx so this is y not here you have to put this is what the picard's condition and picard's formula for first iteration uh for second iteration the same formula will be there this is for first iteration okay uh second iteration it will go as y2 this is solution okay at x equals to some value so y not will be as it is and integration of x not to x f of x y1 this is the modification in the first iteration second iteration so y1 value here we calculate by using this what the value comes we have to substitute here and do the integration with respect to x so this is second iteration similarly we can go for the iteration n iterations so but y not will be as usual here x not to x similarly f of x y n minus 1 we have to take here y n minus 1 before this integration this is nth iteration so this is the scheme of the picard's method now let us uh, solve one problem on this what is that problem let me take one problem solve example make it example solve dy by dx is equals to 1 plus xy 
given that what is given to us one initial condition should be given y at 0 is equals to 0 and and we have to find the value find solution at x equals to 0 0.2 this is the problem how to solve this we have to solve this then only we can come across the solution let me solve using the solution okay solution will be like this so what we have to do we have to what is our first iteration first iteration y naught is given to us what is y naught y naught is zero this is given to us we have to find first iteration y1 equals to y naught plus integration of x is equals to what is the x value this is x value x value is this is called as x naught right here integration of x naught to x what is the function f of x y dx so what this will become here y naught is 0 plus x naught is also 0 here x what is our function given to us this is our function this is what this is called f f of x y so this is f of x y means what now i have to take uh, this is what yes this is 1 plus x y value is equals to 0 right y value is equals to 0 dx what remainders here 0 as it is 0 to x and 1 into dx is there 1 dx so what is its value Inti this is 0 integration of 1 is x okay what we get we get the first iteration value is 0 0.2 x value is what 0 0.2 now we have to go for the second iteration that is called as y2 y2 is what here y naught is as usual constant and this is x naught this is x f of x y1 and dx now we have to substitute y1 value here what is y1 value y1 is equal to this value is what y1 now you substitute here this is equals to this is 0 this value is 0 and this value is 0 to x and f of this what is this function is 1 plus x y 1 is as it is x is as it is y value is again y1 value is what x1 x we got so this is x dx so what is this here uh, 0 to x 1 plus x square dx so what is its value integration value will be its integration value will be what this is this is equal to y2 in fact y2 is equals to 1 integration is x x square integration is x cube by 3 right now i have to substitute this in the final solution or other otherwise i can go for the third iteration that is y3 is equals to similarly y naught is as usual plus 0 to x and what is our function 1 plus x is there and substitute the value of y2 y2 is what x plus x cube by 3 dx right so this is complete bracket we have to use here so this is equals to y naught as actual and 0 to x this is 1 x into x x square and this is x fourth by 3 now we have to integrate this with respect to x then what we will get this we can get here y naught is 0 let me take this is 0 integration of 1 is x and uh, integration of uh, uh, 
uh, x square is x cube by 3 and integration of x4 is x to power 5 and 5 into 3 this is 15 so y3 is 15 y4 again we can calculate suppose we stop here suppose we stop here now we can find the solution so y3 at x equals to 0 is what let us check y3 at you can go for y4 y5 y6 also let me check at y3 y3 at x is equals to 0 0.2 so y3 is as it is this is x equals to 0 0.2 and plus 0 0.2 times I mean cube divided by 3 plus 0 0.2 to power 5 divided by 15 its value is approximately approximately not uh, of, of, of course by calculator using the calculator you can find its value is 0 0.2026 okay this is the manual solution up to y3 and we can go for y4 y6 also to avoid this we have to create the maxima program let me see this same thing we can implement on the maxima screen or maxima window like this okay this is a maxima window so first one we have to uh, write the name of the program Picard's method to evaluate the function f of xy we can make this f of xy also no issue f of xy is equals to 1 plus x dot y print press is up to 5 decimal it will count the answer up to 5 decimals so y0 is given us as y0 just I have written here this is the given function 1 plus x into y and y0 is 0 as usual kill all is the uh, command used to clear all the screen okay earlier data clear the earlier data and y1 is what y0 plus integration of f1 r i can make it f only no issue f of x at y0 with respect to x integration it is 0 to x therefore here only it is with respect to x let me uh, check uh, what is the integration value here yes check it out we got one in the earlier screen we are we have solved it is also one just i will show here x the first y1 is what y1 is x i got similarly we can go for the y2 also similarly we can go it for y2 uh, let me paste that so y1 is already calculated let me cancel this okay then y2 i am taking y2 y2 is what y2 just i will put here only y2 what is y2 y2 is similar y0 plus integration of f of x comma y1 the y1 value already calculated here this value will be substituted and it will give the y2 let me command this star i mean uh, with dollar symbol now it will execute for y2 so y2 is by shift enter i can get the result so y2 is x 3 by 3 plus x let me check the manual solution manual solution y2 is x3 x3 by 3 plus x y2 right x3 by 3 similarly we can find the y3 also y3 is what y3 is just i will write here just you can take the same formula and control c make it another make it a dollar symbol now dollar symbol and y3 y3 is equals to make it y3 here y3 is equals to y0 and this is y2 y2 is already calculated above so now let me check the uh, execution shift enter so you will get x5 by 15 5x cube by 15 plus x and check the manual solution is also like same only yes see this y3 is see here x 5 x cube by 15 it will suppose we take some of this it will be given as it is suppose i want the value of y3 at x.2 what was the answer i can get the same answer 
टू पॉइंट आई मीन जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो टू सिक्स एट सेवन लेट मी चेक इन द प्रोग्राम वाई थ्री सो वाई थ्री इज कैलकुलेटेड नाउ आई वॉन्ट द सोल्यूशन एट वाई थ्री सोल्यूशन इज इक्वल टू और यू कैन टेक इट एज सब्सट्यूट एस यू बी एस टी सब्सट्यूट सब्सट्यूट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू एंड वेर आई हैव टू सब्सट्यूट दिस एट वाई थ्री so it will give us the result at third iteration let me check that so 2026 2026 nine it came i have taken the print process is uh, print process is fine suppose i take it six it will give us the same 2026888 let me check the uh, final 202687 or it may be 8 8 even we can calculate up to many iteration i will show here suppose i want y4 y4 again the same thing i have to yes make it y4 here y4 and here just y3 earlier value will be counted and he make it here y4 it will check out y4 see that y4 i got the solution is solution is uh yes here i have to check it out this okay this answer is this is the polynomial what we get the answer is 2026 8 2026 Double eight. That means y3 also same value, y4 also. Suppose I want to make y4. Just you check it out. Y3 also. Just I will show here. Y3 also. Same answer I am getting. Same answer I am getting. Two zero. See here. Two zero. Two six. Double eight. So same answer when we are getting. So we can stop the iteration. This is how we are calculated. Picard's method. This is the Picard's method solution. So once we write the things, we get. Suppose, suppose we end all the answers here. I can just remove this. I can put here this. I can put here this. I can put here this. All the polynomials you are getting with the answer. If you want to display the answer, you can put the semicolon. So it will give all the answers here. Yes. Just I will uh, remove this. This are all the earlier values. Yes. I can show you the. Answers what I got. So first integration is this is y1, this is y2, this is y3, this is y4. And values of y3, y4, y. Just I will uh, type here some uh, results. Check it out. Y2, y3, y4. Solution three, solution four. I will make here y3. I have substituted y4. I will substitute here. So now I can check what is the iteration value of at y3 and y4. Put shift and enter. Yes, see here, y3 solution is also same. Y4 solution is also same. So the third iteration is enough to uh, solve this problem. Okay, I hope uh, you understand this easy programming of uh, the Picard's method. See, nothing is there. First, you write the given equation and give the initial condition and write the formula. Formula for the Picard's method. first initial condition when we get y1 put y1 here when you get y2 put y2 here when you get y4 put y y3 so earlier y values are substituted here and suppose you want to find the value of the function i mean solution y at 0.2 just use this command so this is y3 value third iteration value this is fourth iteration value so just you make it dollar symbol only you open this it will show the answers up to what decimal you want all the decimal only five to six lines you can complete this picard's method hope you understand this uh thank you very much for listening me i